Hey, how's it going? Chris here, and today I'm gonna show you how to set up a Trezor from scratch. Trezor is the best wallet that you can use to secure your Bitcoin, your Ether, Litecoin, uh, Zcash, Dash, any ERC20 coin you can put on this. And I have a brand new one here, and I'm gonna show you what's in the box and how to get started in less than 10 minutes. What you're gonna see inside is the Trezor itself. You're gonna get this little connector wire, which you're gonna want and this little thing that you can connect it with. But here's what I'm looking for. Uh, this here, the recovery seed book. You actually have two of them, which is pretty sweet. We're gonna get back to what these are in a bit, but you wanna make sure for this tutorial that you have your recovery seeds, that you have your treasure and the little wire that comes with it. These are the important things that you're gonna need for this tutorial. All right, so I'm just gonna plug it in here like this. And you'll see that when it's plugged in, it's gonna tell you to go to trezor.io forward slash start. So that's what I've done here. Once you're here, it tells you that there's three simple steps to get started. You can watch this video about the pin, understand the recovery seed, and then give your email address if you want some updates. I'm gonna show you how to do those because, I don't know, I found this a little bit tricky my, you know, the first time I went through it, and I thought it would be helpful to have somebody do it with me. So that's it, there we're gonna go, we're gonna get started. All right, so you can see we are loading the Trezor wallet and we are here. And it's telling me it's time to install the firmware. So what you need to do is you basically need to install some firmware to update your little guy right here. So let's do that. Click yes, and it's uploading, updating the firmware. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is confirm that the number that's on the screen here matches the number that is right here. And again, it's just for security purposes, so just kind of give that a look over. You know, just look at, da, 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 da. looks pretty good. So I'm gonna press continue like that. It's gonna think a little bit more and it's gonna say update was successful. Okay, so please reconnect the device now. Like this and put it back. All right, easy. So welcome to Trezor Setup. Setting up your Trezor only takes a few minutes. Name, we could do it. Uh, I'll just put my Trezor like it suggests. All right, this is the part where you choose your pin. I'm gonna show you how to do this because the first time I did it, it was I thought it was a little tricky. But the way this works is you can see you have these numbers here and they correlate to these boxes here. See how there's three and three of them? Okay, cool. So I'm gonna choose a pin number now. I'm gonna choose a completely random number. I've just wrote it down right here. And I'm gonna show you what it is though. I'm gonna choose the number one, three, two, seven, eight, six. Got it? See what I did there? So I chose six numbers there. I chose one and see how it correlates to the top left, two here. So on my screen, it's just dots, right? But then here you can see there's the number. So every time that you plug your treasure in, these numbers here are gonna be rearranged, right? And then you're just gonna have to go through and do that based on whatever you remember your pin to be. So that's important. So choose that, choose a six digit number and press enter. And now it's having me do it again. So I'm gonna do it one more time and see how the numbers are already different. One, three, two, seven, eight, six. Strong enough. Okay, there we go. You're an animal. Oh no, you're not. This is the second part of setting up security. So we set up our pin. You're gonna need that every single time you plug your treasure in and access your, your funds. The second thing is your recovery seed. Now the recovery seed is what you're going to need if you ever lose your treasure. So it's really cool that, in a way, that if you do lose your treasure, you don't lose your money. That's pretty amazing. The reason, or the way that you do that, is you need to remember or write down, which is what we're gonna do, your recovery seed. And as long as you have your recovery seed, which is gonna be these 24 words that we are given right now, even if I lose the treasure, if I buy a brand new one, I can use these words to download all my funds or access to my funds. Got it? Really cool, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna go through right now and I'm gonna write down every word that it gives me. And this is gonna take about five minutes, so I'm gonna speed through it for you. But essentially, that's what we're gonna do. So it's gonna be, number one is animal. And as soon as I have that, I can press next. Number two is sound. Next. Number three is bottom. 
So as you see, I'm going through and you want to write down all 24 and you have all 24 here and then you want to make a second copy. So you have a second copy here and ideally store these in two separate locations that are both very safe. Why two locations? I don't know, maybe you have a, your house burns down or you have an accident or you lose one. Hopefully you'd have a backup, both in very safe, secure locations because yes, if anyone does find your recovery seed, they could potentially you know, recreate your account and steal your money. So this is very important. And you never wanna make a digital copy. You never wanna put this in Evernote or on your desktop or in notes or on your phone or don't even take a photo of it because these are all vulnerabilities. If somebody ever accessed your digital records in any way or if you were hacked or if you lost your phone, any of that, you are gonna be susceptible to potentially having your, your digital currency stolen. So you don't wanna do that. Just take some time and write down all 24 of your words. All right, I got them all down. So once you go through and write them all down, it's going to go through one more time to make sure you are definitely sure that you wrote these correct and you wanna go through and do that again. So just one more time, did you write all of the words? I'm gonna go through and check all these right now. All right, congratulations. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you were able to set up your Trezor without any problems. If you do have some questions or you do run into some problems, put them down below. I'm happy to help. I also teach a course online called One Month Bitcoin where I show you how to send money, how to store money, how to think about Bitcoin. I'll put a link down below to that as well as where, as well as where to buy a Trezor if you haven't bought one already. So I'm here to help. Hopefully this was helpful. And try sending some money. Try some putting some money on your Trezor. I suggest doing like a little bit of money first before you put send a lot of money, maybe to send a dollar just to make sure that address works and then you can send over all the money. Actually, you know, I'll make another video. I'll make another video after this where I'll show you how to send and receive money on your Trezor. I think that will be helpful. So look out for that. All right, thanks for watching. Also important to know, you're free to disconnect this at any point. You're not gonna lose your money. You're not gonna break things. You can freely just kind of connect it, disconnect it, and, um, and everything's stored on here, so it's no problem. And again, even if you lose it, it's fine as long as you have your recovery seed, All right?